Bienvenidos a nuestro Rumble Radio. Es also video. And... Pero, pero también es radio. <laughs> We need to do that. We need to have like those Mexican DJ, the, <laughs> the constant. Yeah. We need the constant hype <laughs> noises. Eddie, we're at 224. Look at us. We are knocking on Marla Gibbs' door. We are knocking. Thank God Cody's not here to hear this. How do we screw him over? What are we going to have to do? What do we not? How do we fuck Cody? Who's over? died recently? Someone's died recently. There's been a few. We've lost a couple of people. We've lost recently. a few. We've I lost. I don't know. We, probably, we, have a, we have a plethora of dead celebrities to choose we from. We could just go back and mourn Ernest Borgnine. It's been a while, but we could it's, just have. I mean, there's no wrong. He's time in the to hall. Mourn. He's in the stall. There's no wrong time to mourn Borgnine. The Borgs. He's the in Borgs. the stall of fame. And, and before the show was airing, we were talking about the great. Vern Lundquist. Ver, Vern Lundquist? We can talk. He's probably not dead mm. yet. But we don't know yeah. if he's dead. We, we I mean, we take one hope, quick Google search to figure that out. Should we do that? Yeah. I bet he's still with us. I think he's still kicking. Which mm. is insane as mm. to the way he looks. Mm. The, he's 81. He's still oh, he's going. he's still kicking. Coffee, old, old coffee shits himself. <laughs> mm. 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 You know, he was one of the founders. Of the Omega Tau fraternity in 1958. Did I didn't know that? know that. How about that? Imagine, all the, imagine all the Me Too stories now that are, that, had, oh. that, had that existed. Imagine all the That's Me Too. That's probably where the uh, fucking the sheep originated. All right, guys. You want in? <clears throat> you got to fuck this sheep. <clears throat> oh, dude. So I don't know why I went down a just. I like to look at things and see if there's any more info on stuff we loved. Yeah. And guess what I found out? Yeah. In the original Transformers 1986 film that we all have all time lauded. Classic. All yes. time classic. Probably Did top you know? 10 film, if top not top 10. five film ever top made. Top five. For me, three. Top three, I think. Okay. Did you? Uh, okay, first off, is there a movie that you can quote more than that one right now? Probably that or an airplane are probably the two that's most it. quotable films of all time. That I in our of my in my, my general, repertoire, that's it. Transformers the movie, an, an airplane. airplane. That's it. And maybe a few good men are probably the most quotable films. Right, right. Like I, <laughs> I could, I could sit. I think if I really Fisher jumping today, eh, Dano? Like I can just yeah. go. I can just oh, but let's look. It's Unicron. You know, like I could just, I could just start. Uh, you know, hi, Rob. Right. Look, there's a hole in the shuttle. Decepticon. You know, like it. Anyway, so on the last Ramble Radio, we already decided that it was. We know it's Orson Welles' finest hour. Absolutely. But we yeah. also threw Leonard Nimoy and Robert. Had it not been for Airplane, Robert Stack. Robert Stack. Robert Stack, by the way, who is a major player in the two most quotable films of our lifetime. Robert Stack. I mean, if there's a common thread, it's, it's him. <laughs> it's Robert Stack. Eric Idle's probably finest hour. Absolutely. His finest hour. But, all right, so you know that we talked about how they had the original storyboarded scene of drawing and quartering Ultra yes, Magnus. which should have happened. He deserved that. <laughs> Apparently there was a scene that they cut out of the script that slaughtered the entire first toy line. The 84 line, they were all going to get slaughtered. Like, there was a scene where they... They did a good number on them they did in that number. movie. They, they got most of them. They, like, got, they got Prime. They got, uh, right off the bat, who was it, Wheeljack or Will Jack, uh, Ratchet? Uh, Ratchet, they, Ratchet, Ironhide, Brawn, Prowl all yeah. got taken all off. Gone. And then and then they were going to kill all the rest. The only ones that made it from the first-gen line, I believe... Were Bumblebee, Cliff Jumper, and Jazz. I think that Jazz might have been the second line, but I think Jazz was part of that first run. Yeah, and they were the only. Th I, th I I know for sure Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper were the first runs, I believe, and they survived. Yeah. But I don't know if that was planned. But they were gonna have like some fucking. I guess were the eighty like the first run Autobots and most of the Decepticons all just kill each other. In that Autobot city. Well, what I mean, better way to get people to buy new toys new than toys. wipe out the toy line? Could you? I mean, look, they already got us. What? I was trying to think, like, what else? Could you could imagine they... sitting in the theater and just watching this epic battle and just watching all of them slaughter each other, and then just that 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 sweeping shot of all your toys dead, and you're just kind of sitting there in a the theater, like, what did I what just the watch? Fuck? 
That would be like in game and end game of the final battle. They all just wipe each other they out. They all die. Like that, I mean, imagine if there's some And all that's left is Captain Marvel just flying in. Right. You're like, what is happening? The fuck? <laughs> Did I just watch? Side swipes over in the corner trying to put his intestines back in his body. As he <laughs> it's like the dying. opening scene to <laughs> saving Private Ryan. <laughs> They're just <laughs> storming the beach. And the guy's he's like, oh. He's trying to stick his guts back in. <laughs> like, okay. All righty uh, then. Oh. Man. Oh, fuck. Like, so I was thinking, what else? You know, there was so much more that they, like, I wonder if on Prime's deathbed, there was at least a scene in the script where he was like, RC. Let's see that bush one more time before I go. And he's like, no, no, no. Everyone stay. Everyone stay. <laughs> like I want everyone here. And she got to like, see this. Just, just odd, like, like when the girl takes her shirt off in fame, you know, she's like just crying and like just drops her. <laughs> and then right when Prime dies, Ultra Magnus is like, well, look, he needs to become one with the Matrix. You know what that means? Every, we got a jizz on his body, everybody. Come everybody, on. Everybody, everybody, circle jerk. But Daniel can't jizz. Circle jerk on. We'll get some of Spike's jizz from Perceptor's locker and let him throw that on Prime. Like that. He needs to become one <laughs> with the Matrix. We all got to come on. I mean, would you be surprised? If we don't Bukaki Prime, <laughs> he's never going to become one with the Matrix. Cup, you know you know more than any, you more than anyone know how this works, Cup. You've just done fourteen primes in your lifetime. Get over here. Show us how it's done. Lead the way. <laughs> I mean, again, with how fucked up they went, would you be surprised if any of that was planned in being in the movie? I wouldn't. No, I would. The final Bukaki on Prime. Yeah. <laughs> no, that makes sense. Maybe they, there's a maybe there's a whole subplot where Grimlock <laughs> just tries to fuck everything. You know, like, Grimlock, get your dick off the control panel. We've got to punch it. You know, he's just like, Grimlock, me Grimlock horny. Me Grimlock, what the fuck? Me Grimlock, only fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he's got Bumblebee in the corner. He's like, Grimlock, fuck Bumblebee. <laughs> oh, fuck. They take all the ones who died so he can just fuck them so they don't have to worry. Like, Alive like, or dead, Grimlock. Fuck. Just, here, let him fuck Wheeljack next. Bring in, <laughs> bring in, bring That's in what Mirage. they do to occupy him. They just give him the dead transport, the dead Autobots. He's in the corner fucking the dead Autobots, so they can do what they have to do. <laughs> well, we decided the last minute to lose the Grimlock likes to fuck subplot. And Gr Grimlock's like, you wait till you die. <laughs> Grimlock, fuck you. Grimlock, fuck everyone. <laughs> he fucks Unicron. That's the finale. <laughs> That's the big ending. They're like, the Matrix didn't quite finish the job. Grimlock know how to finish job. And he just starts fucking. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh. And then a dare, dare to believe. That's just playing as he's fucking... Oh fuck! Wait, hey, wait, back to the original point of uh, of Ultra Magnus getting drawn and quartered. Yes, they actually did that in the in that new series, in the Transformer series. They tortured him pretty badly. They, yeah. I mean, it was just his head left. They, I mean, just they pretty much drawn and, they yep. drawn and quartered him basically. So they sort maybe. of paid homage to that nod, maybe. nod, wink, wink to that. Yeah, maybe. I'm still gonna watch the third season. Yeah. Have you finished it? I did finish it. I Does did. it end? Is it? That's it. It was just those three, right? Yeah, but it there's it they leave room to keep going. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't okay. like I mean it wraps up the story that was told, right. but they, they can be like, "Well, we can make four of these." Oh, good. Cuz it was good. The first two, did you like the third one? I think I still think my favorite season was the first one. Yeah, I'm with you. I so far I like the first. I like the second one, but I like the I like there was parts better. of the first one that I uh, parts of the third season. I I did like the third season, but to me the first season was the best. Okay, third seasons 2 and 3 go into a cage. Who's walking out? Oh. Probably three. Three? Okay. Probably three. All right. So you go three. one, three, two. I go one, three, two in that order. All right. All right. That's, yeah, that's, yeah. Hey, man. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Because there's some cool <laughs> moments in that. And I didn't even watch Beast Wars, so I didn't even really get most of those guys. But, right. you know, I still But even, 
were they interesting having never known anything about them? Did they do a yeah. good job at least making those guys interesting? Yes. Having known nothing about them. Well, one okay. that there was another guy, another one called Megatron, who was a T Rex. T Rex, yeah. Yeah, but his yeah. name was also Megatron. Do they, they like, explain there can't that? Be two Megatrons. Do they explain why yes, there's it's two? Like, it's like an homage to Megatron. Oh. Because they, they came, the Beast Wars are the from Beast, the future. Correct? They're from the future, and they went right. back to the past after, I guess, the Autobots and Decepticons had wiped themselves out. Like they right. Were, so they they went back to the past to try to stop what was coming, right? And that's why they met them on that planet. That's why they were on that when the planet, Ark hits because they knew the Ark was going to hit that hit Earth. So that's why they were there. That's right. Okay. Waiting, waiting for them to come. So that's pr- I think that's pretty much the main Beast Wars gist. I, I believe that, so. Yeah. I never watched it. So. Yeah, I, I and I'm bummed because I we talked about this a little bit. I missed the boat on it, and then my my cousin he grew up with Beast Wars. That was his Transformers. And oh, he was trying to sell me. I know. I know. Yeah, that animation was awful. Ooh, and he was trying to sell me on it, saying that Starscream's ghost pops up. And I'm like, well, I got to watch it now. And I tried watching it, and I couldn't get past the animation. I I'm couldn't like, go through the first five minutes of the first episode. I it just, could not it do it. It is so bad. It's like Last Starfighter bad. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like pre-viz on a, on a student animated film. Right. It's so bad. It's rough. That's some rough shit. They, now... Wouldn't hurt them to remaster it. I'd be down if they just kept all the voice acting. They already have it all, yeah, right? Yeah, just, just redo it. Redo the animation. I'd be all right with that. They should. I mean, that'd probably be a lot of work. Probably. I'm not going to pay for that, but they should do it. I suggest. That or go do back it. and then do and, or install the cut of Grimlock fucking all the dead Autobots. Or the- <laughs> if you're going to spend money, I'd spend money on that. Grimlock already fucked Braun. <laughs> Bring new Grim, new one for Grimlock to fire. R- Ratchet play hard to get when alive. <laughs> <laughs> Ratchet it's can't. No, it's no fun when Ratchet just stays there. <laughs> Ratchet can't play hard to get now. <laughs> <laughs> well, we thought at the last team probably you know let's change it up a little bit and not have this. Wheeljack, at least act like Grimlock in you. <laughs> Grimlock, can you hurt Grimlock not know if Ironside come yet? <laughs> All right, come on. Come on, Grimlock. We gotta go. <laughs> Grimlock, compassionate lover. <laughs> Want to take care of everyone before he take care of himself. Dude, that would not have been that surprising if they threw all that into that movie. Honestly, I would oh. not have been shocked. Especially as kinky at all. as the Japanese can be. Those Jesus they can do some Christ. weird shit. Speaking of, I'm watching an anime, sh- um, an anime show that my cousin suggested. It's really good. Yeah. But yes, my God, they can be. It's called Hunter Hunter. Mm. And it's good. Now, the other problem that I have is the theme song, I think, should be a remake. Of Doctor Doctor by the Thompson Twins, like Hunter Hunter, can't you see I'm burning? But right, right. I mean, you haven't even seen the show. You, it's over for you. It'd be in if you did that, right? If they did that, Hunter Hunter. But it's it's about this kid who wants to like a hunter is a very prestigious title in this world, right? And you have to go through this rigorous test to see if you can become a hunter. If you become a hunter, you have access to wealth. You could basically, it's like a license to kill, you know, yeah. and some people use it to do evil shit. Some people yeah. use it to be crime star, you know, whatever like this. And this kid's got a good heart, but he meets this. You meet this character named Hisoka, who's just dressed like a clown the whole time. And he's like ultra powerful. And he sees something in this 14 year old kid. Right. Mm -hmm. Like one day this kid, like I want to fight him because I think he's got potential. Right. And they fight like in the second season, they're fighting and the kid is actually getting some shots on this dude, which no one can. And the guy just very much implied just has an orgasm over finally meeting someone who can be his equal. It was just like, which not probably wouldn't be my reaction. If I, like, you know, like, but I do think MMA and boxing would be far more interesting if, if a guy started jizzing when he was really getting, a, taking a combo. They're but, both yeah. hitting each other like they're like, oh my god, oh this is what I've needed. <laughs> it was uh, like it 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 was like one of those you're just like, 
Huh. Mm. <laughs> you're watching. Okay. okay. That's that's how they went with that. <laughs> that's that's where they went. That's where they went. Not that's so far right. off of our Grimlock. No, really not. No. not I mean, <laughs> I think that's our Grimlock's so... a little more. I'm proud to say he's more hardcore. Yeah, I think that. he's a little more of a developed character than <laughs> than old Ahsoka in Hunter Hunter. But it and it's just the it was just like I was like okay, never seen a guy jizz while he was getting his ass kicked. But there it was heavily implied that's what happened. <laughs> like, like, okay. <laughs> Like, yeah, good for that guy, oh, I guess. Fuck. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I hate to do this because this oh, is man. Okay. Um, contractual all right. obligations. Uh, Skeletor. Um, I don't know if you noticed all week, we've been uh, just a two-man ramble. Cody has yeah. not been here. Um, have you Have you missed Cody? I mean, we, Jerry and I have both missed having Cody yeah. on the show. Have you Have you missed Cody being on the show? Well, Eddie, that's a wonderful question. I'm glad you've asked. Yes, I do miss having three people to beat up on with my logic and brain power besides two. Two's a little too simple. Uh, so, yes, in that manner, I do miss the quote-unquote critic who has never seen Krull. But, okay, fine. You're a fucking critic, but you haven't seen Krull. The ball's on you. But, um, you know, I, I, do, I do. But I know he's very busy. He goes to film screening sometimes, uh, which brings me to my next point. I'm having my own film festival here in Eternia. Really? How about that? Yes, wow. I, I, wow. I'm, I'm the curator. It's going to be several, uh, several films that deal with several mature themes. And mm. the screenings are all going to take place inside He-Man's mother's pussy. <laughs> all at the same time. It's going to be like Wimbledon, but different movies. That's how much room there is in there for that disgusting horror. Whoa. Okay. Oh. Kind of got he got a little extra. A little angry. A little oomph at the end there. A little bit of oomph at the. My God, that's. Mm, it must be. A I thing. can smell her pussy from Snake Mountain. You guys made it, huh? How about that? That's how bad it smells. She's miles away, over you know, but I can smell it all the way over here. <laughs> All right. One of these days, we're going to figure out the uh, what actually really happened between Skeletor and He-Man. And He-Man's, um, there's, yeah, there's right. Something, I, something happened there that we're ask not. Ask her. Fine. Fucking ask her. Fucking ask her. See if she'll tell you the fucking truth. I bet she won't. Okay. There we go. All right. Jesus That's Christ. Right. That's just. Uh, well, uh, someone doesn't have a big enough penis to satisfy her. Is what she, uh, uh, you know? Fuck you. You fucking whore. All right. <laughs> Wow. No one's ever complained. Okay. All right. That's all right. Wow. There's wow. a lot to unpack here. A whole lot. A lot. A whole lot. My God. That is. Uh, maybe for another ramble. <laughs> I hope. My God. He's really coming unhinged over there. <laughs> a little unglued. Uh, so you know where to find Cody. Send a snob podcast. Check him out on YouTube as well. And we will not most likely. Because they said I'll probably be in the hospital for about four to five days after oof, oof. surgery again. One of now, those. When do you get to take a real shit again? When is that? Are we looking 2022 for a real? Yes. Jerry Rocha classic. Dump. Hoping to get in there. Dump. Just hoping to get in the stall of fame. Dump. One of those throwback dumps. monsters. That's not going to be until. That's going to be like shitting again for the first time. You imagine? I would imagine. Best case scenario, early January. Okay. Early to mid January. Do we do a live scenario. ramble around we that? We have to. I, why not? I think we need to. <laughs> I think people want to know when you're going to pass a, a, a real movement again. Yes, that is when supposedly the bag will be gone. All okay. that. All right. Early to mid. That's the late. It's anywhere from early to mid January to early February. Okay. So but it'll still circle be winter the time. calendar. There's going to yeah. be a, a live ramble around. Oh, baby. This I mean, it'll still be my favorite time of the year, winter, my favorite yeah. season. Yes. So that's good. That's good. It's good to ring it in. You, you want to be able to dump during your favorite time of year. During my favorite time of the year to, break, to get Old Faithful back shooting. That's what. That's now, are you going to do it at home or are you going to go to a public play? I mean, do you want to? Have you thought about where God, you want to do I, this? No, I, I really haven't. Frankenstein? Do we do it there at the Nazi booth? I think so. I think this you my just first pop a shit. squat right there in the Nazi booth. And, <laughs> right uh, there in front of the Lego Hitler. Drop one on on leader, <laughs> on leader. 
on the leader Lego oh, minifig. God. Yeah, if if he walks, maybe I'll just take one on that Kyle Rittenhouse case. I'll find I'll up Rittenhouse. Find well, he's him. definitely going to walk because the judge. Because that, go, that judge is so impartial. What an impartial judge! What an impartial judge with this Trump ringtone. Oh. <laughs> Like that judge might as well wear a t-shirt saying, why can black people call each other the N-word, but I can't. Like, he might as well just go that. I mean, well, Jesus. And then, and then the fake crying, you can't. I mean, it's so How, moving. Come on. So, so moving. moving. Those fake tears, the shitty fake crying, where no actual tears came out of him. He was just, like, dry sobbing. Like he was crocodile. trying to. He was really trying. He was really trying. Oh, he sucks. What a fucking awful. Oh, well. What do you yeah. fuck it? Fuck him. Anyway. Fuck him. Fuck him. I, I, the only reason I don't want to comment too much because then you get the people that are dead down the middle who think both sides suck, but somehow we're going to only jump in to defend that guy. That's right, what you, right. you don't want worry. that to happen. You don't <laughs> want that to happen. You don't want to wake up the guys who think both people suck but clearly have a team they root for, even though, even though they say both sides suck. <laughs> oh, man. Right. right. <laughs> Maybe we'll just rename taking a dump a written house and just written house. You, when you bad. take your first written house. My first written house. Where is it going to be? Where can, yeah, well, where can they find you, Eddie? Oh, find All me at uh, Patreon.com, the Ralph Report, uh, five days a week, and then uh, Tuesdays, Fridays we got Ramble Radio. Wednesdays we got Ramble Proper. Occasionally on Thursday we got Good Willow, Willow Hunting. Hunting. Um, of course, we'll probably be off next week because of yes. the aforementioned. I'll be uh, recovering butthole surgery. Be recovering. Yes, my butthole surgery is will be. Yes. Thankfully, over. That'll be it. No, no. The old knock on wood. If all goes well after Friday, yeah. The next major, the next procedure I will need is just to get rid of the bag, and that's yeah. it. And then we're back to normal old rambles. Old rambles, dumping like smug crazy. nerds, smug nerds, doing retro Twitch. rocha. Maybe doing Andrea hates Twitch, so <laughs> that's a hard part. Like she would love it if I could Twitch at like two in the afternoon every day. Like that would be her. Like he just do it then when I'm he not going to bed. When I'm not here. But she's working. That might be a bet, not a half bad idea. Yeah. To be honest, Give is the twitch in the afternoon. But yeah, we'll see. But yeah, so thank you all. We love you. You know where to find me. Same place as all the ramble stuff is. And again, event like Eddie said, we'll be doing smug nerd again soon and all that fun shit. So stay safe. We love you. Take care, everybody. We won't see you next week. No, but boy. Hopefully, might not see you the week after. Depends on how how long the healing takes or the recovery. Yeah, you're, but, you're not you're not allowed to sit down for like a week and a half. You have to walk around. To walk everywhere. To walk everywhere. Can't sit at all. Walk. <laughs> that to me. <laughs> Constantly moving. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, shit. So stay safe. We love you guys. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.